All right, guys. So I think we are more than enough already in uh, in our stream to begin our patch notes review, and let's just begin to guide ourselves uh, from the patch note forum um, theme. Yeah. There you go. So first of all, what we got in the in the patch notes? First of all, we have our ancient ruins update. Now we. Uh, we have two more difficulties available, which is 6th and 7th. Uh, it is available from 2550 uh, combat power and from 3100. The difference between the two, I mean, the difference be between all of them is the drop. The drops got uh, a little bit buffed, so if we had, for example, the maximum, uh, all that is showed here is the maximum drop. So you can drop, for example, double slot weapon. You can drop only one slot orange weapon from here, only orange... Uh, a light stone on the orange like uh, but that's the maximum drop that you can get you can get for example golden black stones now with the introduction of new as you can see we have here some increase of the rate of the orange gear we have the increase of the best uh, drop which is the liberto stuff yeah ultimate liberto stuff we have also an increased drop rate of the crystals yeah, from magic crystals also an increased drop and increased uh, maximum drop of the black stones now we can get like golden black stones and as well increased rate for um, for the relic fragments and the same goes for seven difficulty which has the increased drop of all of them and the difference uh, now between the gold the gold coins the experience and the silver the difference is always depending on how many plates do you use because for the seventh difficulty we will use 12 plates for the sixth we will do for the fifth you will use that yeah and the silver and all of that is used depending on how many plates do you use for every run the only difference is the difficulty of the boss itself and the drops. So anyway, if you don't have yet uh, 3100 uh, combat power, don't go for uh, ancient uh, ruins. Wait until you will have 3100 and then just uh, waste all of your plates. Because it will be way better, be like, like this you will have more chance to obtain some of the rare gears. Alright, so the second update will be the level 6 of the Tanhon already, so if you are not tier uh, 5 yet, then you won't be, a great, you won't be able to upgrade to tier 6. But the thing is, with the tier 6, you will be able to get more workers, you will be able to, uh, I think, buy another house for workers. So with tier, tier 6, uh, you will have like 30, 30 workers at this point, in my opinion, but I, I don't really remember, something like that. Right, refinery, a chance to produce grand black stones, so we will be able to produce some golden black stones. And a higher chance of refinery has better chance of producing higher black stones. Alright, range increases total range capability, increases food storage limit, increases storage size. So nothing very important here, is stable. And let's see here what does they say about blacksmith. The blacksmith, there is an issue with the patch notes regarding blacksmith crafting some epic gear and weapons. Was the intention, but it was mistranslated into mystical. So we will be able to craft only golden gears, but not orange ones. So nothing like that. Is what they say. Also, we will have three different statues. Statue of Vitality, Statues of Battle. As soon as you will upgrade uh, your uh, Town Hall to tier 6, you will be able to craft one of those statues. All of those gives you a buff um, once a day. It will give you a buff for um, 30 minutes or one hour. Depending on the on the statue, it will give you... The Statue of Vitality will recover, will recover you your stamina for 50, I guess. Statue of Battle will increase your combat EXP, I think, for one hour or 3 hours, and your artisan stone statue will temporarily increase your life skill exp gain. Alright, let's move on to the accessories, as you know, now we have a different ac uh, accessories resonance, it it's depends on which crate do you use, so for example, at this point I have 3 golden, three golden accessories and 2 orange, that's why I'm getting the 2-2 two, two bonus effect, so I'm, I'm getting um, uh, the first resonance of the golden equipment, I'm getting like 9 CP for that, and then I'm getting plus 50 CP for 2 mythical accessories. If I would have, for example, 5 golden accessories, I would, give, uh, would receive that bonus right here. If you will have like 5 orange, you will receive the 6 resonance of a uh, total of 84 combat power. Yeah? So, nothing very special, but the more, the more uh, higher grade accessories you have, the better. But at this point, if you are free to play, I mean, if you are free to play, it, it's quite hard to acquire some mythical accessories. Unless you you'll get lucky enough to get some orange drops from here. Because oranges here cost like 1,900 uh, black stones and that's not that pricey. So if you are lucky enough to get something from here, uh, then make everything that you can to buy yourself an orange. Because oranges actually give you a nice boost, boost of 50 combat power. Two oranges gives you a nice boost. Okay? So let's move on. 
Let's see what else do we have. We have some events there, but not nothing that important to be honest. Um, comparing that that update with the last one we got and the the first one we got, like the second one we got with Medaya uh, introduction, uh, all these updates are so small and so like they don't bring nothing like very major, like it was before. Also, guild wars now are opened. In order to win, you will need to acquire thirty thousand uh, score. Right now, that's just for fun. There is nothing you will get from it. Only just having some fun to have some victories, and that's it. Later on, as soon as Perlobis will update the guild wars for some ranking, then it will be very important to war with different guilds because you will receive a nice bonus of pearls for being number one or number two guild or number three guild. So. If you want just to have some fun, then you can declare war. Now, if you don't want, then don't go for it. For now, it's not that important. That is just for fun. All right, all right, nothing that important. And that's practically it about the updates. Nothing very major, so uh, there is nothing that can boost you a lot unless the resonance bonus of the um, rate of accessories. And let's jump real quick here for the events. We have here... Um, we have only one event, actually. Yeah, so the one and only event are our, uh, let's see how it's called, it is called Black Spirit Adventure. So we have here some cubes that we can farm from the mobs, just farming uh, simple mobs from any territory, like from level 1 to up to level 70, you can farm those cubes randomly from the mobs. You'll get them pretty frequently as you'll be able to uh, to roam over and over with the, with your Black Spirit. And what this quest consists of is for, for you to farm. So you have to farm. The more you farm, the more cubes you get, the more laps you can acquire. For every 10 laps, I guess, or every 10, 25 laps, you will get some special... No, every 20 laps, you will get some special reward. And every lap will give you a um, condensed dark energy. Nothing very special. Uh, the most important uh, reward is the last reward for 100 laps. It will give you an, one epic accessory. Very nice to have. So make sure to farm as, most as, uh, as much as possible because also some mini micro rewards like stamina, like some black stones, some light stones for example, and even boss stones, ancient plates and some fair black stones are very nice to have. So the more you farm, the more bonuses you will get. That's very nice anyway. But at least try to reach 100 laps until the event will end. And the event will uh, remain for 20 days. I think it will be available to farm the cubes for like uh, 14 days. And after that, you will have one week left uh, in order to like uh, end with all the cubes you have. Also, one of the events that we have is Rate Up event. You have a 100% increased chance for accessories that are epic or higher grade. So for golden and orange grade accessories, you have 100% chance to obtain them from here. Anyway, it, they, this won't cost lesser, but it, uh, uh, anyway, it costs lesser than buying them on market. But make sure to not buy for now golden accessories from here be, to sell them because you won't be able to get yourself much of the profit. For now, if you, for example, let's let's see that ring here. If I will buy it for 440 pearls, yeah, then I will be able to sell it for how much? Let's see. Stories, ring. And as you can see, it costs only 558 pearls. How much will I gain for selling for the lowest price? Price, yeah. Divided by no, multiplied by 0 0.7. So I will receive uh, only 390 pearls from that uh, business. Yeah, I will sell that ring. I will receive on 390 pearls. So if you try to buy yourself a golden uh, javelin from that shop right here, don't buy it to sell it. Don't buy it because you won't receive anything. You will just lose yourself some pearls, and that's it buy only if you want to use it and that's it okay that's just simple notice because for now it's not worth it to buy to resell it okay uh, what else do we have what else do we have also we have here some new packs let's talk about the packs as well we have some uh, boss town packs here and some rapid growth chest here yeah enhancement rapid growth and conqueror bosses if you have the money for it if you want to buy them go for it if you don't have the money if you uh, if you are thinking if it's worth or not to invest in it, well, I don't know. I wouldn't invest in something like that. Even though I, I have some pearls, I'm still waiting for something very, very precious. For now, this is, isn't very precious, actually. The only thing you can spend for is that tier 1 pet chest that you can buy for uh, uh, 400 black pearls. That's it. So make sure to buy it as, as soon as you see it, because I think it will be available uh, once a week. So you can get yourself some pets for black pearls. That's a very nice thing to buy. Other than that, mm, not really important. And also we have here an ultimate steps of fortune, which once again, if you want to 
spend on it, if you want to spend money on the game, you can buy it because it, it gives the second tier pet chest for the second buy. Uh, but I don't know how much it will cost, maybe 500, maybe more, who knows. But it's 100% tier 2 chest, so if you have the money for it, then go for it. If you don't, if you want to play free to play, don't worry, that's not that important. As soon as there will be some important stuff to buy, like just like this package here of the tier 1 pet, that's very important, I will tell you. Now, other than that, that is not important, okay? And that's practically it about the patch notes. Let's jump real quick to the Ramones Arena because I need to uh, finish the Ramones Arena as well for today. Nobody is contesting here the dragon or the worm. Let's try to take it. Boom. I got it. Nice one. I got it. I'm getting everything in this game. Very nice. More PvP, please. No worries. <laughs> Can you please repeat that 25 up through? So as soon as you reach like 20, 28 or 29 uh, enhancement level on your golden equipment, make sure to to change it to orange because as soon as you will reach like 30, 31, 32 enhancement level uh, with golden one, uh, as soon as you will try to get it to orange, you will lose like two enhancements. And that's not very nice. You will lose a lot of enhancement level because uh, Golden enhancement level is lower than orange enhancement level and the faster you change to orange is better. The thing is that before 28 uh, it is not that worth to change because you you are better uh, like uh, spending your money on something else. Now as soon as you reach 28 and more then it's uh, it's the time to change to another uh, another grade. So all right guys, thank you so much for coming. Uh, see you later on the um, Russian stream. Hope you enjoyed it, have a nice day and have a good night, bye bye.